Hi dear friends, how are you? I'm Vikas from Vikas Driving School. Today I have Shabnam with me. She passed her driving test in a fourth attempt. She failed her driving test in a three time. She she was struggling a lot to get her license. She she has done her driving test like in a Dramana, a Kaiten, Broad Meadows. Kulru four places. Uh, in the end, she get her license in the Kulru. So I'm going to ask her uh, experience about how she get a license and what she was feeling difficulty before in a third uh, three time in the driving test and how she fail her driving test. So we can get benefit to know uh, the reason of the failing the driving test and we can improve in our driving and we're not going to do any mistakes. So please guys if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel because I'm going to add more value more tips and tricks to pass your driving test in a first go uh, hi shabnam yeah. so do you, do you do you have a bit experience before giving your first driving test um no i i just learned from the scratch i never driven the car but i took like 20 lessons from the instructor and after 20 lesson we uh, like he asked me to give my driving test so i pretty much only had 20 lessons that's all in first time okay you took a 20 lesson from mm -hmm. the instructor and after 20 lesson uh, you book your driving test yeah? yes so your driving instructor uh, suggest you you are ready for test now now you can book your driving test and the first test where did you book it i book it at dromana because he's uh, yeah I thought because I wasn't I wasn't very confident enough okay. and because of the crowd or like traffic reasons okay. I probably thought I should go to country countryside okay so uh, so she booked her driving test in the countryside because she was feeling a bit nervous in the little bit busy area so she went to Kaiten yeah? first time Dramana second first time, time Dramana okay and Dramana uh, you been to Dramana and what is the reason of failure driving test in a Dramana, Dramana? I failed to give way according to my selection I thought it was safe a gap but yeah. according to the assessor um, I, it was not safe gap so she terminated straight Away. Yeah, yeah. So she failed her driving test just because of choosing unsafe cab. So my dear friend, always when you're turning left and right, when you're line changing, anything, whatever you do, make sure don't rush anything because it's a not a race anything. They're not going to give you a first prize if you will do it quickly. Take your time, whatever you do, do it when you feel safe. Some sometimes student when the examiner they say to them, uh, move to left line, move to right line the student they get hyper and their blood pressure go high and they start to do immediately make sure don't do immediately keep your indicator on and just keep observing in the mirrors and keep observing your speed limit once you feel safe then do it if you don't feel safe don't do it and uh, in the second attempt, where you been in the second attempt? So I gave my second test at uh, Kaiten again country because I was still under like I did not have any confidence okay. and yeah I failed again because of lack of confidence and lack of practice I okay. guess okay. and yeah. Oh, you've been to Kaiten. Kaiten is, I think, a small town, like yeah. a countryside, yeah. uh, less busier there. So, in the Kaiten, uh, what is the reason to fail your driving test in a Kaiten? Uh, I hit the curb, and plus oh. I make other mistakes. So um, that's why the I mean the assessor failed me. Oh yeah, so you hit the curb, so yeah, hitting a curb is an immediate termination, especially any time during your driving, when you're going to turn left and when you're going to turn right or when you're going to drive straight, if you're going to touch the curbs during your driving, that is going to be immediate termination. You only can touch your curb when you're doing three point turn and reverse parallel parking, going backward and forward, you can touch the curb. Uh, so this is the only reason in the second time just yeah. touching the heat just yeah. mark yeah. okay uh, what about the third time third time um, I did not make any mistake uh, but I speeded during uh, lane changing so I crossed the limit and that was also immediate termination 
yeah so the third time she just failed her driving test just because of over speeding she did very good in a third attempt and uh, she uh, she just uh, uh, your test is about to finish yeah, yeah about like 5 minutes left in my five test 5 minutes Probably just uh, left for the driving test she just she was just about to finish her driving test she did very good in the driving but in the end of when i you know line changing you line, was, yeah, line yeah, changing. that's that's that is most common mistake the student they do because when they when they change a line they busy in the checking the mirrors and they forget to uh, uh, forget to check the speed li limit sometime they slow down and sometime they over speed this is the main reason i seen i been so many driving test student they fail their driving test in a line changing either they slow or either they speed up make sure when you're line changing keep looking again and keep maintaining your speed limit uh, don't increase and don't decrease as well so you will not fail your driving test so So this is the only reason in a third attempt. Yeah, that's it. No other mistake. She hasn't marked any mirror checking. She was no, doing nothing, very good. Nothing. Yeah, very good. That is very good. She was doing everything very good. Always, always she failed just in a uh, like a major mistake, like immediate termination. Except of that, she was checking the mirrors very good. Uh, she was everything was just. She just every every time she failed in a immediate termination, and. Uh, and today is a fourth attempt she chose me and she came to me uh, to get her driving license i give her one mock test before the driving test uh, so is that mock test before how did you get choose me how did you where did you find me um i actually um i uh, when i come i actually work in a public transport so i yeah. used to take uber and i told this guy uh, that i'm yeah. going for my lesson and he told, he suggested me about vikas and then i looked it on facebook i start watching his video facebook. and the way he was explaining i felt really like clear because it was the instructions were very easy to understand and i was learning things just by watching video and that's how then one of my best friends she also took uh, she passed through vikas and i mm. i knew from that point of uh, time that if she could pass through vikas i i i can do that too so that make me contacting uh, vikas and i only mm. wanted to do my lesson with, i mean test with him Thank you, thank you so much for choosing me, and uh, and uh, we got your license. I really yeah, feel thank happy. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After getting your license, it's a really good feeling because especially when you're waiting for a long time. Yeah. How long you waiting to get a license? I think it's for I my learner was in two thousand. Uh, I think it's four years. Oh, four years. Four yeah. years is a very yeah. uh, big achievement after getting your license after four yeah, years. Okay. Uh, so you know the happiness of uh, the license uh, because those. people they get their license just in a first attempt so don't they say they don't feel so no. much happy <laughs> uh, so so that's very good so they, i give you one mock test before the driving test is that lesson little bit help you amazing yeah and also like the instructions are so easy to understand plus he will try to ease your uh, anxiety because i was very anxious and i was thinking oh my god i'm going to have a heart attack but he was the whole time he was like calming me down and plus giving me instruction also telling me to do the right thing on the road so that was really helping me like boosting your confidence is very important doing during the test if you uh, like can boost your confidence obviously you are going to make less mistakes in the test. and all like listen to him pay attention to what you what is mm. like telling you that's all and in the driving test i repeat instruction for you like examiner was uh, uh, was saying to you turn left and turn right and after that i was repeating for you and i was pointing to you for you as well turn is that really help you I to think uh, focus on the more on the driving that's an amazing thing to do because i never had that opportunity in first two uh, attempts and i think that really helps because you have one less thing things to focus like to find a, a straight it which you want to turn right or left so be the help because he was really really like pointing with the hands movement and it was really clearly to see the roads and everything and he he was such a help through throughout mm -hmm. the test 
so uh, if if you're going to uh, your driving test my dear friends so you can say to your instructor can you please repeat instruction for me and can you point instruction for me so your instructor is going to repeat instruction for you and going to point for you because if you he going to point and repeat for you you're going to feel a bit more easy and you you can focus on the more on the road because sometime i seen lots of time when the examiner they should say to them turn left or right and when they go go close to turning left and they forget to turn left and right and sometimes they miss it and uh, because of that fear and stress they fail their driving test as well so that is that is very good opportunity and it's allowed as well it's a legal as well you can say to your examiner can uh, and you, you sorry your instructor you can say please repeat instruction for me so he can repeat for lots of my student they don't know about that so so you can say to your instructor he going to repeat for for you and uh, today you pass your driving test uh, did you, did he mention any mistakes uh, um, you did just he said one? positioning the car by keeping a safe clearance on each side and judging gaps in traffic that's all. so the first point our examiner marks in our seat uh, you need to be keeping keeping a safe gap clearance means she she was turning very good but sometime she was a little bit afraid little bit uh, like a nervous system get mm-hmm. little bit extra extra uh, like over cautious so that thing she mentioned but she was doing safely she was not driving like unsafe she was driving safe and the second mistake what he mentioned judging gaps in traffic the judging gap in the traffic sometime uh, especially in the when traffic light was changing uh, like uh, yellow to red she was just getting confused because we were just very close to the intersection and suddenly just she just stopped the car it was just not a hard stop but she she just stopped it we can go as well we can cross the light as well because if you are very close to the traffic light and you are about to cross that light you can go because if you are if you will cross the line and that light light will be changed that will be perfect fine they cannot mark you they cannot give you less point and you can pass your driving test with confidence and what about third thing he mentioned Uh, he didn't she, she only mentioned sur- sorry she only circled oh, speed circled. choice she she mentioned here in the third attempt speed choice so speed choice means uh, sometime when we was going on the road like in the residential areas so when when he was turning left so sometime you give too much extra accelerator oh, for turning okay. especially there was a bend yeah. bending turning mm-hmm. and sometime you uh, able uh, you not able to handle your okay. car okay. so this thing you need to be extra careful when you yeah. future you are driving uh, in the mock test i said it to you you need to follow your speed limit you need to maintain your speed mm-hmm. limit uh, and when you turn especially bending anything you need to you need to turn you need to turn fast according to the situation but not too much fast as well if you you, you if you're not able to control your car mm-hmm. so make sure you need to give that much speed if you able to control that is very good mm-hmm. uh, so she just uh, mentioned here speed choice during your turning left and right and during your driving but she drive very good she drive safely drive drive but mistakes are part of the driving even the experience driver do it and we all do do it because no one is 100% perfect so we only need to uh, drive safe uh, so as you seen she done mistake and still she pass her driving test so student they bit worried about the driving test they think oh my god if i'm going to do this mistake i'm going to fail my driving test it's not like that my dear friends if you will do mistake still you can pass your driving test as long as you driving safely so motive here and the reason here to take your driving test uh, they only going to check how safely you driving they are not going to check you how perfect or fast you driving so make sure in the driving whenever you driving keep driving safe so i just want to add some more tips here to pass your driving test in the driving test 
she did very good so make sure keep looking when the student they drive their car they become a statue and they only look straight when they look straight they're not able to they don't they don't check their mirrors make sure keep looking your mirror because if you're going to look your mirror the examiner is going to think oh he or she is a very good and experienced driver so that means he has a very good uh, very good experience in driving so so they're going to relax and they, they're going to sit back and they and they they're not going to focus on you too much you can drive yourself and the second thing is student they fail most of the student they fail their driving test in over speeding make sure never as she fail in over speeding mm -hmm. as well so because over speeding is immediate termination so make sure never do immediate always if the speed limit is 40 always drive five less for, for speed limit is 40 the drive between 32 33 34 35 five just keep it for safety side because if the speed limit will be 40 and you're going to keep it 39 38 or 40 they're going to be very high chance of the over speeding and the student they do like this because they're driving on the if the speed limit is 40 they keep their speed limit 40 the speed limit is 50 they keep their speed limit don't keep your speed limit same speed always keep your limit five or seven less and don't keep it two less as well if speed limit is 40 don't drive less than 30 so if you're going to drive too slow they go they can fail you driving too slow so if if and don't some some students when i explain them you need to maintain your speed limit you don't drive too slow uh, they then they don't able to understand which way i'm trying to uh, explain you so if the traffic condition doesn't allow you to go fast you don't need to follow if the road is very congested road is very narrow so so don't follow that speed limit just drive whatever you feel comfortable you don't need to feel everywhere you just need to follow where there is you where there you can follow where there is no traffic no no congested road is very clear no raining anything there you're not allowed to drive 10 less but if the road condition is not good so then you can drive slow as well and the next point here, the student they fail their driving test just because of they don't stop on the stop sign stop sign make sure must you need to stop stop for three seconds she stopped on the stop sign she didn't fail because but i just want to let you all the guys know stop sign don't some student they slow down and they pause that is not going to be counting stop sign stop time you need to like freeze your car just completely freeze for three seconds and then check for the safe gap and then move and the and the curb make sure never ne in the driving never touch the curb so if you're going to touch the curb this they can fail you uh, and uh, they can fail your driving test so these are the, the things my dear friend i think i cover all these uh, all these tips to pass your driving test and uh, this will really help you if you're going to follow these things in your driving test and in the driving test no need to stress anything if you miss any instruction you don't need to worry if they say to you turn left and by mistake you take a right no problem because it's a driving test it's a not a navigation test and in the driving test I just want to mention a little bit how you can impress your examiner for impressing your examiner make sure check lots of mirrors because if you're going to check your mirrors so examiner is going to think oh, he he or she is a very good driver so that because only experienced driver can see the mirrors though learner they not they will they will become a statue and they only going to look straight so make sure always look your mirrors and the second point is uh, so, so these are the points just follow these points i have lots of points just i just don't want to take your more times so so this is so thank you thank you so much for watching uh, if you still have any question any doubt please leave a comment on the comment section and i will reply you very so soon and please reply in the comment section what you learn from this video and I, if and i will reply you i'm checking every message and i'm replying i'm following everyone and thank you thank you so much for watching and see you bye for now see you very soon Thank you. Thank you.